वो एक ही है इस पूरी दुनिया ने जिसने कभी मुझे जज नहीं किया उसकी नजरों में से कतरा भी कम में होने नहीं देंगे Shahid first year warm welcome to you and congratulations on jersey thank you thank you anuj what's up wonderful well i'm actually very excited because jersey is a very special film we've been waiting for this movie to hit the theaters and finally it's happening so i'm pretty sure you must be relieved and excited for the same as well right well you know i've been holding in it it in for a few months pretty much since december <laughs> so i'm going to hold it in a couple of more days and then it's all going to come out together this yeah. is still like you know that movement moment from braveheart you just like hold 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 <laughs> but um, you know it's a film that 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 i have i have tremendous love for it's a film i have tremendous faith in it's a story that is connected deeply with me mm-hmm. it's a message that i want to share with as many people as i can i mean for me this film is not it's not a film it's more like an emotion i just feel a sort certain emotion um uh, and i felt that you know i feel that should reach the audience and this is just pretty much that and can't wait to share it with everybody on the 22nd of april truly truly now you know more than cricket you know uh, the film seems to me you know the interpretation i have of jersey is that it's actually a take on men's mental health shahid it, it it's about it's about understanding and accepting and acknowledging that it's okay to not be okay sometimes and things don't work out you know sometimes the way we want it to and life has other plans so how important do you think it is for hindi cinema uh, i guess to present a normalized stories based on human vulnerability so well, yeah i mean that's that's interestingly put i must say that's you know i mean i would love for you to see the film and then maybe can do a deep dive in what what you're suggesting but there are elements of that throughout the film uh, definitely i agree with what you're saying um and the word that you used is for me uh you know uh, is is fundamentally what arjun is i mean he's a man with great angst but also very vulnerable at the same time and i think that's what tends to happen with men i think uh, the angst comes from vulnerability and uh, the first thing is to recognize your vulnerability and to accept like you said to that is okay to be vulnerable but i think men have you know most men have an issue dealing with that and accepting that cuz we all just have to be you know that guy who can't break down or who can't you know show what he's feeling because he has to hold fort for you know everybody whether it's his family or it's his loved ones or it's his friends um you know many men have to uh, carry that with them and not just men women as well you know mm-hmm. um and uh, and and you know arjun is a family man he has he has his wife he has his child and he has a unfulfilled dream which i think so many men in their 20s you know probably gave up on what they loved the most to do something that was required of them to fulfill responsibilities or to take care of uh, their families and and you know and this is one guy where the fire is still very much alive in his belly you know he's not he's, yeah. he still feels that fire and uh, and i think that's why he is worthy of of uh, you know uh, of his story is worthy of being told you know because mm-hmm. if the fire is gone it's gone you know you let it go but if it's still there you know then 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 that guy i want to i want to play as an actor mm-hmm. and uh, arjun definitely is that guy yes right now i'm going to talk a bit about the themes of the film because i think there's so many themes it touches on and i think it would be very interesting to address that uh, just shortly but as an actor when you play emotionally and mentally challenged roles like kabir singh or an arjun talwar do you ever see a reflection of shahid in any of those characters i mean how difficult is it to disassociate yourself from those roles per se um you know the way it works for me is i try and find something within that i can draw a parallel to with okay. what a character is feeling or how he is or what he's going through or what his you know emotional mental dynamic intellectual dynamic is physical dynamic all those things because i don't want every character to you know have shahid in it Hmm. I want a bit of you know I want I want to be able to play that character with a certain purity uh to become who he needs me to be but I have to find something that I can deeply connect with and so I try and draw a parallel and then I try and I don't know man it's <laughs> you ask a very complicated question uh, it's 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 a, it's a journey but yeah. um I think if you can deeply connect with the the fundamental flaw of your character or the fundamental issue that your character is dealing with hmm. uh you know you start getting inside his system slowly and steadily and then you know sometimes you get there sometimes you don't sometimes you feel you you couldn't get all the way in 
and mm. sometimes you know you just fail but but yeah you have to that, that's that's what acting is all about very difficult to explain but you just have to feel your way through it sure sure now i think the film you know it the, it focuses around the concept of second chances in life uh literally second innings if if i can add a little cricket cricket reference there um so what sure. was the time in your life shahid where you perhaps were faced with hardship and what gave you the strength at that point to rise beyond that defeat and make you know good use of that particular situation in a positive way i feel i have always had the destiny of a dark horse like i've never really had anything on a platter i've never really um i don't think i ever really got more than you know what i worked for and so you know i've always kind of felt that about my journey and not in any kind of like a self sympathetic manner but just an observant manner because you need to understand who you are where you are how life is playing out for you and you know you need to accept that because i think there is beauty in everything i think there is mm-hmm. a lot of strength that you can gain out of uh, having a challenging journey in life i think it can make you solid it can make you very uh, empathetic which i think is very important hmm. uh, and it can make you you know it can it can, it can really help you become flexible as a person yeah because you know that life's going to throw different stuff at you and um, i think it gives you a deeper understanding of the many different things that can happen in life and the many challenges that people face hmm. and uh, definitely helps you as an actor man i mean it just gives you so much more perspective and so much more uh, experience to chew on Um, yeah. you know so i have faced many challenges in life and uh, i have always uh, you know kind of felt a great amount of pride in the mm. fact that you know one has fought through those challenges and you know and i love it i love fighting i think i'd get bored if i didn't have anything to fight yeah. you know because i'm not, now it's like it's a part of life <laughs> and and that's what happens you know when you keep fighting you just get seasoned at it and then it just becomes your you know it's it's a part of who you are and, mm. and it just comes naturally Oh absolutely and I think also you're very spiritual in that sense as well and I really resonate with that you know Shahid because I've seen the way you you know the way you articulate your thoughts and you know I've seen a lot right. of you in the public eye and I just love the fact that you are very spiritual in that sense and I'm sure that must really ground you. you and give you that sense of tehrav I think in your life and clarity in thoughts right Yeah I mean of course first of all you know I think we're all spiritual in different ways but it's a very important and big part of my life and uh, I really think the best thing that that happened to me was family and uh, you know uh, my wife my children and uh, of mm. course the faith that you have uh, gives you a deeper and a wider understanding of life because sometimes being success, successful can make your understanding of life very limited you know you feel like I do this and therefore I get this and it becomes all about me I you know and it's really not that because it comes when it has to come and it stays for as long as it has to stay and you need to be who you need to be to get to where you need to get to you know so i mean it's not really so much to do with yourself it's to do with so many other things and you know there's a larger force which is you know making things happen yeah and so you know you should always acknowledge that it makes you humble it makes you accept life and you know i believe completely in karma and so so yeah these things are very important and they are fundamental to who i am today It's all about the goodwill I think at the end of the day. It all it all sort of uh leads up to that. And in fact, I think um uh, another very important theme which uh Jersey explores is fatherhood. You know, I think that's another yes. very very essential concept that is explored. Um you acted with your father actually Pankaj Kapoor ji. This is the first time I believe you both are actually sharing screen space as actors, even though of course you worked with him as a director in Mossam before. Um so you're obviously working with your father uh you're actually playing the role of one <laughs> which you are also a father in reality as well so i guess when yeah. a project is so personal shahid do you ever i guess do you ever feel burdened i think by the pressures of the atmosphere in that sense you know does it No happen? no i i don't i don't know why people use this word burden you know i it's feel very privileged to, use to be it's because challenging that <laughs> thing i was trying to use no, it I, 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 to describe it yeah i know i know but like i just feel like it's a privilege to share screen space with him and you know it's a privilege to do movies where people have expectations from you <laughs> rather than have no expectations of you right. you know i think that's nice for the first 4 5 years of your career where you want to be able to use the newcomer card and you know it's 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 important after that to take accountability and responsibility and you know uh own up and man up to whatever you choose to do so so i think it's great that people are looking forward to something that i'm doing and 
it's great that I'm sharing screen space with one of the finest actors in this country, and there's so much to learn from him. Mm. And uh, we also got to spend a lot of one-on-one time together. And uh, I was playing a father with my father in the movie, so that was just something I'll always carry with me. So, so yeah, all, all, all good stuff, you know. Of course, yeah. everything requires you to give a part of yourself. Everything requires you to, you know, focus. And but I love doing that. I mean, that's what I'm here for. So, it's mm. all good. Absolutely, and you know, I'm really fascinated because you just described yourself as a dark horse. Uh, you know, Shahid, um, just just in one of the previous responses, and I think that's a very great way to describe you, actually, because when it comes to acting, you've never shown away from reinventing. I mean, be it that sort of chocolate boy phase during Vivar days, which I'm a huge fan of, by the way. I absolutely love Vivar. Thank you. In fact, your and Amrita's pairing is still, I believe, one of the most amazing pairs I think we've seen. Uh, in Indian Thank you. cinema, or if you'd done an intense role like in Urta Punjab, uh, you know, again, which was a great, you know, monumental experience for you and an achievement for you. So, what life experiences do you think has prompted the shift in role choices from the initial days to the sort of career trajectory you're having now? I just felt like you know you started start off as just this guy who people think is going to be charming and girls are going to like him and go oh my god he's so cute you know and then you know you want to be more than that yeah you know if if there is an actor inside you you want to be more than that and after a while of being that guy because that's what everybody expects you to be like there's this voice starts screaming inside saying man like what are you doing like do something substantial you know <laughs> and so you start chasing that you start chasing. Uh, the artist within, or the creative energy, or the aspirations, ambitions that you have of wanting to be a performer, an actor, of wanting to have uh, you know a library of work that you can look back and say that you know I'm proud of these choices that I made, and uh, you know whether they turn out well or not, but you went out there and you you threw yourself in there and you you discovered new things, and you know that's what nourishes you as a human being. I mean, see people. Who become actors? I don't know who becomes an actor to be famous. I mean, I don't get that. That's a byproduct. I think everybody becomes an actor to express themselves. Yeah. Really, so if you're an actor, you do it to express yourself, and you know, it's 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 like a it's like a uh, you yeah. know a way that you share with the world everything that you have experienced, and maybe it's cathartic for them to view it through you because they are not actors, so they can't really show it. But when they see it, they feel it, you know, and there's so much more to it. You know, you want to make people laugh, you want to make people cry, you want to represent life and uh, you want to, you know, by the time you're done, you want to look back and say, man, I gave everything I had. Everything that was in me is out there in my movies. True. You know, true. that's what it should be about. And, you know, I think, Shahid, times are constantly evolving and a lot faster than ever. Things literally one day is equivalent to a month for me nowadays because of, I think, maybe because of the pandemic, because of, I guess, the paradigm right. shift we're seeing in the world. Um, but yeah. there is a much higher demand for original content nowadays as well, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and as an artist, how are you able to gauge whether a certain risk is worth taking, especially when it comes to choosing uh, specific projects nowadays as a, you know, as a last question, if I can ask you that? Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't have any rules or any, uh, you know, these strong notions in my head. I think the most important thing as an actor is to be open and uh, to keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Um, I am happy to tell stories that I would want to watch as a viewer. Mm-hmm. I am excited to play characters that challenge me and make me feel intimidated. Yeah. Uh, because that, Because that means that it's not in my comfort zone mm-hmm. and and i want to find subjects that can travel wide stories that can connect with a wide section of people uh, mm-hmm. as opposed to like very experimental stuff that might not be able to uh, you know uh, find a wider audience and those are those are the things that are on my mind right now and i just keep it as simple as that right as simple as that well on that note shahid um i think this interview has been a long wish of mine and i'm really glad that it's come for thanks brother thank you that's so kind of you and it's come for a film like jersey which again is personal to you and very seems very personal to me also i think for many 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 reasons <laughs> as well and it's great to see right. you back on the cricketing field since zil bole haripa in cinema so i think it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. i can't wait to see you hit a cinematic sixer once again for your performance Thank you so much, brother. It's, it, it's a pleasure speaking to you. Likewise, Shahid. Wishing you all the very best, Shahid. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. See you.